lit. My bro put the zoo on the map. Long live child of sex. All of you niggas is cat rats. We smoking that gutter. I'm high up a zet. Long live work. This is Drillers of Philly, and today we're going to be talking about the story of Pilar. That lady right there, the old Philly knows about her. She'll get you lined up just for a couple of reds. The name people have been giving her is the Queen of Beck Dorn. Now, there's a reason behind that to why she got that name. She got that title because it's rumored everybody she hangs around with ends up dying. For example, King Lord or SB. Now, her situation with King Lord, she was his ex. Pilar used to be King Lord wifey or whatever, but then one day they got into a little argument, and that little argument turned into a big one. King Lord, which is the man with Pilar in the picture, he ended up pistol whipping her, and he ended up getting booked for that. He ain't staying in jail for too long, and he ended up breaking up with her. And after they broke up, King Lord ended up getting a new girl. Now, there's two reasons why she backdoored him. One of them is because he pistol whipped her, and another is because he got a new chick, and she really ain't like that. Pilar ended up giving up King Lord drop on live, and just moments later, he died outside one of his family members' crib. Now, for the people that don't know Lord, I'll do a small recap. He was a South Philly rapper from 27th Street who was into it with 31st and Tasker. Another set in South Philly. I did a whole video on that, so check that out. It's on my YouTube page. The person up there, his name was SB, which was another rapper from 27th Street. When Lord had died, he had treated Pilar like she was a sister. He taught her how to move in the streets and everything. Even though he did all of that for her and took care of her, she still ended up giving up his drop. One day, she asked him where he was at, and he had told her he was in a laundromat with his kid. He ended up getting killed. Here's one of the texts they had before he died. I can't find a text when she asked where he was at, but here's one of these. Now, what I find really crazy about her is that she claims that her people and she really loves them and cry every night about them, but she steady stays in outlaws and everything as soon as he dies. And here's one of the lies right now. Put the switch, let this quick work. I'm a book first, tell your folks, run a big hearse. I'm a good tag. If you ready to do it, get a shit bag. Big bag, niggas pop. I got a big man. And then usually right after one of her mans or boyfriends die, she ends up being right on the out lives, under the comments, and liking all their posts. For example, back when Saudi was alive, she used to always be on his posts, commenting and everything. Here's her following one of the ops, Zoo Gang. She's cool with her, Tyler King was cool with Chad Gliss before he died, but for some reason, she still be under the op comments, liking their posts, being on their lives and everything. Yo, Pilar, Cloud Chaser, oh my god. What the yo, he really just be saying shit, yo. He really get somebody in some shit. He really just be saying shit. Man, they said you gonna lie me. You not coming nowhere near me. Nigga, you was never coming near me. What the fuck you talking this about? This is the closest we get to talking ever. Like, I'm not going near this girl. Y'all tripping. I think females need to start staying out of beef. Right now, Pilar got kids, and she moved out of Philly. She was in Atlanta, but now she's a target because people know that she does all this type stuff. So I think she just needs to stay low and stay out of Philly and just stay down in Atlanta. Even though she got kids, it was since she was just in a fight, and then she got bleach poured on her daughter. It's like she attracts dangers just wherever she goes. Her situation got so bad. It's to the point where rappers just start dissing her now, such as this. Fuck the eyes, front and bottom of my heart. She might got a curse on her. Why y'all ain't even with Pilar? Speaking on my D, nigga. She's constantly under ops and stuff, comments everywhere. Like, I hope y'all see, like, he obviously doing all these type stuff. Now, here's another boy she supposedly big door. I don't know too much on this situation, so I ain't gonna speak on it. But DM me if y'all know anything about this one. But yeah, be careful who y'all call y'all girl or who y'all give up y'all drop to. But this is the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, if y'all want to support our channel and see more videos like this, check the description. My cash will be there. And yeah, we out.